Hey guys, wanted to do a little remake of the video I did on creating a delta by price. Um, I just thought the other one looked kind of bad, so I'm going to redo the video essentially. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is um, you can go to analysis studies or just right click and go here to studies and then add the volume by price. So you can just type that in and find that here, double click and let's hit apply so you can see what it looks like um, right off the bat. Um, and since we're doing delta, and this is way too fine, all these numbers, I'm going to switch the ticks per bar to eight. So that way it makes it a little bit bigger per bar. And I want it to be like the last 30 minutes since I don't care about um, super long dated um, delta from a lot earlier in the day. So I'm going to go here to visible bars and change the period type to one period at end of fixed time length. And that is going to use 34 and 35, these settings right here. So I'm gonna change it to minutes and then type in 30 so that it is 30 minutes. Now that I have that done, I wanna align it here to the right. So what I'm gonna do is right here on the 45th setting, go and change this to yes and then go to down here to align to far right, the 68th setting, and set that also to right. So now we have a volume profile here on the right. So we wanna change it from volume to delta. So we go here to this 48th setting, go down and do ask volume minus bid volume. And there we go, now we have that. And I wanna have it display the um, delta here. So I'm gonna go here and display volume in bars, set that to ask volume minus bid volume. So now we get these numbers in here. And then I'm gonna go, let's see. I like to use transparent draw style, so I'm gonna switch this to yes. And then I'm gonna go in here and change these settings a little bit. So I'm gonna remove all the settings that have display so that it doesn't show all these settings up here at the top, which is kind of annoying. And then we're gonna go into here. So right here is the red and the green. So for the red, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave that red. For this green, I like blue and I'm gonna do a dark blue. So I'm gonna do dark for the bars and then light for the, um, for the text. So we're gonna do that. And then right here, the setting below, it's gonna be the opposite. So on the left side is going to be the blue. So we're gonna do a light blue. Let's try this one, see what it looks like. So you do that. And then on the red, I'm gonna do this light red. Click yes. So now we have these um, delta bars. And then the last thing I'm going to want to do is remove this outline here. So I'm gonna switch this to zero and go back here. Actually, we're gonna switch this draw outline. This is what the setting that you need. Draw that, draw outline when coloring bid and volume, ask volume and switch that to no. Um, that way there is no um, outline there. And so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you wanna do. And something I'll, I also would like to do is add the overall delta from all of this down here and then probably resize it to make it a little bit smaller. So right here, I'm going to switch these six setting down here to bottom of the graph and then chart value one to do, be displayed on the profile. I'm going to do ask volume minus bid volume. And then this one on the fifth setting right there, show chart values with profile labels right here on profile with labels. There we go. So now we have this, and I believe this doesn't actually change color. So this will always be blue. So don't think that if there's negative delta that this is going to change to be red. It doesn't um, color itself. It's just always blue no matter what it is. And now we're gonna go up here. I want these to be smaller. So what we're gonna do is change this 44th setting, uh, maximum volume bar width percentage. And I'm going to try 10. There you go. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. I think 15 is probably good. There we go. And I'm gonna leave it at that. 
and that gets you a pretty good looking um, delta by price. And just remember up here, you can change how long of a time period you want it to be, or if you want it to be a full day, et cetera, or multiple profiles. And then here is the ticks. So you could make it two ticks, um, but just for NASDAQ, I prefer to have it a lot more than that. So switch it back to eight ticks and that's it.